17? Yeah. Yeah, that's a little, I can see how that could be a little tricky. All right, well, um, let's talk our way through this. How can we start with this? You know how to do it, yeah, but you're just forgetting the last step. Okay, you can just do it. Um, so you have a wavelength, mm -hmm. and it's in nanometers, so we're probably going to have to... 465. So it's 465 times 10 to the negative 9 meters. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, uh... uh it says one moles of protons. I, I used to know how the moles correlate you with have to the just, wavelength. Instead of, you have to convert from joules to moles? You have to know, instead of joules per photon, you have to convert um, to joules per mole. So, so um, you know, E equals H nu. Right. So, um, so E equals H times C over lambda. So you know, and now you know lambda. Here, do that. Let's go ahead and get a number for that. So, 0.63 times 10 to the negative 35 times 3 times 10 to the 8th divided by 465 times 10 to the negative 9. Yeah, so you're all looking at everything on it. And then, um, okay, so you have. So I got 4.28 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. Can anyone confirm that? Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. Then, but. Uh, okay, so now, that? so that's joules per photon. Excellent. So, um, because, and then you know there's 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd photon in one mole. 6.0 6 times 10 to the 23rd. Photon. Oh, that's all photon. Yeah. Oh. So it's just, see, I knew that's what it was. That's so annoying. That's annoying. So, let's see. For that, I got. 2.57 times 10 to the fifth joules per mole of photon. All right, so what were the key things here? The first thing that, that was key to realize is that what we originally figured out was the energy on a single photon. So you, uh, that's actually something you should keep in mind. When you write down this formula, it's actually best to write it like this, to remind yourself this formula tells you the energy of a single photon with a certain frequency. That's not emphasized a lot, but this tells us the energy of a single photon with a certain frequency. So this number was really joules per photon, but the problem wanted us to translate that into joules per mole. Well, here we used Avogadro's number. Just like you said, Avogadro's number of photons per mole, and that gives us the uh, correct answer. Uh, 